all right you're welcome to my youtube channel this is is great to talk and what i do here I solve technical drum problems and also provide information that you can make you for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations and what i want to do here right now i want to show you how you can construct a hexagon or an hexagonal polygon when you are given distance across corners and distance across flats I said when you are given a distance across corners and when you are given a distance across flats so how you have to construct the, the 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 polygon the hexagon and i'm going to explain what the distance across corners is and what the distance across flat is for a distance across corners it is the diameter of a circumscribed circle that is a circle that touches the six vertices of a hexagon so the diameter of that circle that you have to use to construct that polygon that hexagon whose vertices are touched by the circle is known as the distance across corners the distance across flats on the other hand is the diameter of an inscribed circle that is a circle that touches the six sides of a hexagon i believe with this simple explanation that i've made you have understood it so but when i begin to do the practical you will get it more and i want to tell you that if you're a technical drawing student and you are watching my video for the first time please subscribe to this youtube channel put on notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and also share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students and do not forget to practice everything about technical drawing or engineering drawing is practical you need to practice so that you can master it and be able to solve any question that has to do with technical drawing that may come your way now let's see the practical part of it we want to construct a polygon that is a hexagon of c-sided whose uh, distance across corner is 60 millimeters okay now the first thing that you need to do is to draw the horizontal line so i'm doing it here so you draw horizontal line so you draw horizontal line at, at, as i've done it here then you take a measurement of 30 millimeters which is half of the diameter so the diameter is 60 millimeters that is the distance across corners is 60 millimeters so you divide that 60 by 2 and that will give you 30 so you now take a radius of 30 millimeters on your ruler with your compass and you put it at this midpoint or just put it on the line and draw a circle like this so draw a circle so draw a circle as i've done it here so after you have drawn the circle the same radius that you do use to draw the circle so let me call this point so this is point a and this is point b okay so the same radius that you that you used to construct the circle Put it at point A here and you make an arc up and down and you put the same radius 30 millimeters at point B at point B here so be careful and draw an arc up and down like this so so this point is point C so this is point D so this is E and this is point F. So now, so you join AD together. Join AD together. And you join AE together. Join AE. Then, so we join So BF and 
then we join BC. Then we join CD. And then we join EF. So this is the hexagon and the distance from this point to this point is what we call distance across corners. So it is written here to be written as A slash C in your question. A slash C in your question. That is the distance across corners. So this is how the polygon we look when we are given a distance across corners. As I've said distance from year to year is 60 millimeters and it is the distance of across corner to the circle touching the six vertices of the hexagon. So distance from this point E to point C is also 60 millimeters from point D to point F distance from year to year is also 60 millimeters and the length of side is 30 millimeters as long as you use that 30 millimeters that you used to construct the circle to get this point on the circle on the circumference of the circle the length of side is 30 millimeters so this is for the distance across corners now let's go and see how we can construct a hexagon giving a distance across flats now for a distance across flats, so we are still going to draw horizontal line. So we are still using 60 millimeters as distance across flats. So you take a measurement of 30 millimeters on your ruler. So put it at a point on the line and draw a circle. So draw a circle. So draw a circle like this so after you have drawn the circle after you have drawn the circle so this is point uh, okay don't let me write that so the next thing that you are going to do is that so you so here you draw a tangent to this part of the circumference of the circle so come up here and also draw a tangent to this point on the circumference of the circle i believe you can see what i'm doing so the next thing that you are going to do is to take your 60 degree set square 60 degree set square so with the 60 degree side of your 30 by 60 degree size square so you set it like this this is my 60 degree uh, 30 by 60 degree size square so you set it like this and you draw a line so draw a tangent to this line to this circle so from here to here so you draw like this then so you take it up like this and you also draw a tangent to this side of the circle okay and then you turn it like this so turn it like this and you draw a tangent again from year to year So we need to then so you set it like this and you draw again. Alright, so I also need to make sure I draw this, make this a thick line, and also I'll make this a thick line. All right, so as we have here, so the distance from this flat 
to this flat side. So if I have labeled this as A, B, and I have C, D, E, F. So distance from here to here is the distance across flats. So used to indicate it with A slash F. So this is the distance across flat and this is how the hexagon will look. As I said that the distance across flat given to you is the diameter of an inscribed circle. That is a circle that touches the six, parties, uh, the six sides of the hexagon. So it's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Keep on practicing. God bless you.